current role with CP Achieve is as one of the associate investigators. And uh, I guess I contribute to CP Achieve in two ways. One is to work closely with colleagues in writing various resources or developing resources. And my focus tends to be particularly health. Um, and, uh, and the other thing that I do is to join various meetings that are running through CP Achieve and contribute my perspective and ideas and thoughts around what other people are doing. So it's, it's been part of that collaborative effort. Well, I'm a doctor who's worked in this field for the last 30 years. I was working as a general practitioner uh, when I had my son uh, in the 1980s and he was diagnosed with cerebral palsy and intellectual disability and epilepsy and so I guess the trajectory of my life changed a little bit then and when he went off to school and I had a little bit more time to think I looked around for a way of combining what I felt that I'd learned through being his mum, and he's taught me a lot and continues to do so, uh, with my medical qualification. And I started working at first with children with disabilities and their families, and later with adults with developmental disabilities and their families and carers. It's been a, a really rewarding and interesting and extremely satisfying career. And I've met so many fabulous people along the way. So I feel very uh, privileged. My main research interests are around health and particularly thinking about the ways that we can support doctors, GPs and others to provide the very best care they can to their patients with cerebral palsy so that those people can live the very best lives they can because for all of us having the best health we can is the foundation for the best possible life that we can live so we need to learn from people with cerebral palsy and their families and carers about what are the health issues that are important to them and how they think that doctors can best support them to achieve and maintain the very best health possible I guess the thing that I'm really excited about with CP Achieve is working with a team of such passionate, um, talented, skilled, knowledgeable people and the partnerships we've developed between all of us and those are people both within Australia and extending out to particularly uh, Canada and Sweden. And the, the project is inherently a co-design project, a partnership project with people with disability, people with cerebral palsy and their families as well. And I love that sense of partnership between people with cerebral palsy, their families and advocates and professionals who've worked in the field. And together we can do so much more than any one group on their own. Uh, I think people pay lip service perhaps to inclusion or co-design or partnering with people with disabilities but we need if we're going to do that to provide the support for people um, and and really think about the ways to best work together and I think this collaborative project is is really done that and very thoughtful and and reflective and continually thinking about how we can do it better and I love that sense of dynamic a continuous improvement and, and sharing what we know and learn together. The thing that I really enjoy about working in the CP Achieve team is the sense of collaboration and partnership between people with cerebral palsy and their families and the professionals who've worked in this field for a long time. Um, some of those professionals are people that I've known for a very long time. Some of them are new to me and it's been a delight to get to know them. And Likewise, some of the people with cerebral palsy on our team are people that I know that I've worked with before and others are new uh, colleagues. It's really a delight to work in that kind of collaborative partnership. Very respectful, very inclusive and um, very uh, valuing of each other's perspective and knowledge. So in 2022, I'd really like to 
develop some resources and we've had some specific ideas about how that might look for GPs to support them in their care of their patients with cerebral palsy. And uh, we need something that's uh, readily available to people when they need it at, at the point of care and something that ensures that GPs are focusing on the health issues that are important to people with cerebral palsy. And that's what that collaborative partnership that we've developed allows us to do. And from a personal point of view, I'm retiring at the end of this year, and that is going to give me time to do the things that I really want to do. Uh, one of those is to continue as part of the CP Achieve team and to, to work with my colleagues uh, on, our, on our project. And the other thing is going to allow me to spend more time with the people that I love. And that includes my family, particularly my son, Nick, my daughter, Emma, and my son-in-law, Sam.